Well, as we continue to track a rise in crime rate around the, across the Sound, uh, we are putting a spotlight on Seattle this morning as police are releasing their final 2022 report. And while crime is on the rise across the board, it's violent crime numbers that are catching our eye, if you will. Fox 13's John Hopperstad joining us live from an area that's become something of a crime hotspot in the city. John, good morning. Good morning to you, Brian. Yeah, third in Pine here in Seattle, known for drug dealings. We've had a lot of shootings here and homicides as well. But police have made a concerted effort in this area over the last year or so with more patrols. They've got this mobile command unit that has been down here permanently really over the last year or so. So folks around here say crime has gotten better. But overall in the city, we are seeing an increase in violent crime. In fact, violent crime in 2022 was at a 15-year high 52 homicides that's up 24 percent over the last year gun violence we've had 739 incidents in seattle that is an all-time high and we saw nearly 7,000 car thefts in the city that is also a 15-year high so seattle police also working with seattle university on a public safety survey for residents one of the questions being what is the number one issue or problem on your block or in your neighborhood that you would like the police to deal with. Number one, theft. Two, burglary and break-ins, followed by homelessness and drugs. Now, crime increased overall by 4% in 2022 compared to 2021. We mentioned that police have targeted some areas like here at Third and Pine where folks, neighbors, business owners say things have gotten better. And there is one trend that is looking better as we head into the new year. The last quarter of 2022, really the last three months or so, uh, crime was on a decrease in Seattle. So if that trend can continue through the new year and through 2023, these stats may look a little bit better this time next year. We're live in Seattle. John Hopperstead, Fox 13 News.